Like many men out there, losing hair can be an embarrassing situation. And we recently received a question from Frank about this very issue. Take a look. Hey doctors, I have some concern. My hairline is creeping up and I need some help. I have tried multiple things. I am currently considering a hair transplant. I've tried diet, I've tried pills, I've tried oils, I've tried lotion. I've had carpets up there. You know, I'm looking for answers. What can a guy do? I want to keep looking younger for longer. Joining us now is Frank, along with our good friend, dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra, to help shed light on some possible solutions. Frank, thanks so much for reaching out with your question. No, thanks for having me. I'm really glad we get to talk about this. All right, let's get right into it. So how long have you been worried about losing your hair? I've been worried about losing my hair for quite some time. I mean, it's 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 not something that I think a lot of men talk about. And uh, personally, I'd like to keep what I have, what's left. But I mean, it's not working well. And I have tried a bunch of different products. And it just seems like nothing really helps. Uh, you know, guys do want to have a hairline. So not everybody's always talking to the back of their head. So I would love yeah. some help. Yes, we do. And you're right. We don't talk about it enough. That's why we're going to talk about it right now. So Dr. Batra, shed some light. How common is this issue? So Frank, you are not alone. This is one of the most common questions I get from my male patients. And that's because about 25% of men are starting to notice thinning hair by the age of 30. And according to the National Library of Medicine, over 50% of men by the age of 50 experience some degree of hair thinning or male pattern baldness. So like you said, it's incredibly common, often embarrassing, but really thankfully we have some options that we're excited to discuss with you. Yep, and Dr. Batra, what causes hair loss in men in general? So the vast majority of men, it's genetic, and that goes by the name androgenetic alopecia, or male pattern balding, and we know that that's due to hormones. And specifically what happens is the androgen hormones have an effect of miniaturizing the follicles. So you start with coarse, dark, terminal hair, and then in men, you get this process where the hair become finer and less pigmented, and that becomes those vellus tiny hair that we associate with hair loss. And Frank, you're exactly right. Where men experiencing that thinning or experience that thinning the most is at the temples and the hairline first, and then often back at the top of the scalp at the vertex. So you are exactly on schedule, and I'm not surprised this has been an issue that's been progressing for a little while for you. So Dr. Batra, what can Frank do to prevent him from losing more hair? That's an important issue. And, and you're right, Drew, because the prevention part of it is so key. And we always say that you have to start early. So the, when you start noticing the hair loss, the earlier you start interventions, the more follicles you can rescue and preserve. So you've touched on the fact that there are a number of treatments out there ranging from topical medications that are FDA approved, that are safe and effective. There are cosmetic treatments ranging from lasers to injections of growth factors called platelet-rich plasma, up to transplant or grafts if, if you have that experience and you want to just fill in the spots. But there's even oral medication. And one of the ones that's FDA approved and is very safe is called finasteride and it actually acts on that hormonal component of hair loss that I was mentioning earlier. You're exactly right, Dr. Batra. And lucky for Frank and anyone else suffering from hair loss, you can get medication shipped straight to your door. It's really simple. First visit Exuma Wellness online. You can do that from any device. Then fill out the form and answer some basic health questions. From there, you'll chat with a board certified doctor and get the prescriptions shipped discreetly right to you. Listen, the whole process is quick, simple, private, and safe. Frank, how does that sound? Sounds really good to me. Anything that will work, I'll try anything at this point. Well, good luck to you, Frank. I hope to hear good results. And Dr. Batra, as always, thank you so much for joining us today. You're the expert. Thank you so much for having me. And Frank, good luck to you. I hope these help. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time. For more information about Exuma Wellness, go to getexuma.com or go to our website at thedoctorstv.com.